If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey folks, Lara here. Time for another pen review. This time we're going to go Visconti. Uh, it's going to be the Visconti Homo Sapiens. Let's take a look right down here. Both the same. Here on my left right here is the Visconti Homo Sapien Bronze Age. It's got all the bronze trim on it, okay? clip, the bands, down to the bottom of the barrel, another bronze band, top of the pin, on the cap on the finio, the Visconti logo, which you can use my pin system to change it out. Uh, I believe you can put your astrological sign up here, mine would be Leo, or I think they even have maybe your uh, initials. That can go up there. That's pretty cool. Uh, really a, a, a nice, beautiful fountain pen. Uh, I've enjoyed it for all these years. Uh, now, the, these pens, the nibs, on both pens are palladium. 23K palladiums. They hadn't changed over yet to the 18K nibs yet. So these are both the Dream Touch nibs, which I love both of them very much. And you can get the nibs then... They were offered at extra fine, fine, medium, broad, even a 1.3 millimeter. Now, both pens are identical length, weight, so both of them, as you see them right here, length closed would be 5.7 inches, posted 6.8 inches, the weight overall is 1.5 ounce. And the ink capacity on both of them is 1.51 mils, both piston vac, okay? Both pins are made from basaltic lava from Mount Etna uh, volcano, uh, that's in Italy. Again, the bronze trim, beautifully, beautifully done. This is the magma, beautifully done as well all in red so this uh, this edition features the red trim as you see here versus the bronze trim so they're identical but the colors are different and I had to have it so I got it so what are the red features for well the red trim is symbolizing the eruption of the molten lava and then the glossy metal red trim give that fiery contrast against the, this matte, beautiful matte black lava of the pin body. Both have the uh, hook safety lock on them, so they're both the same. So, both are really lovely pins if you're a Visconti collector, lover, you're thinking about getting one of these pins, I believe you can still find the pins with the Dream Touch nibs. Maybe on eBay or through a dealer may carry a Dream Touch nib if you desire to have it. But the the new Visconti uh, come now with an 18K uh, gold nib. So, and I'll just show you one real quick. Here's my newest addition to the Visconti family right here and I, I got this pin here from the Federalist Pins uh, this has the uh, silver trim sterling silver trim and with the 18k gold medium nib and these two when they came out these have the 23 uh, palladium dream touch nibs both medium nibs so everything's the same except the nibs uh, again you can always ask the dealer if you really want to dream touch nib 
Is that an option? Can can they get it with the Dream Touch nib? That I don't know. Uh, so why the big change in nibs? There was a lot of complaints uh, Visconti was getting from the customers that the Dream Touch nib just wasn't cutting it. Uh, that's a bummer because my Dream Touch nibs, they are a dream. They're just really lovely. So. If you leave a comment and ask me which do I like better, the Dream Touch nib or the 18K Gold nib, that's going to be a tough call because both nibs hold their own weight. I've never had any problems with the Dream Touch nibs. Uh, many people have, I've heard. I guess I'm the fortunate one. So. Again, it would be hard to really lock me down and say, Larry, choose the best nib, Dream Touch or the 18K Gold Nib. Uh, for me, I love them just the same. Now, this, the Blue Lagoon, mind you, this is sweet. This is one beautiful, gorgeous fountain pen. Just look at that. Look at those beautiful swirls in there. It just, this is the demo pen. But the way they made the pen, as you can well see, with the sterling silver trim, it is just a gorgeous fountain pen with a darn gorgeous, lovely nib. Let me show you the nib on this one. I'll leave that one like that. Beautiful nib. And then we'll do the Bronze Age. And then we'll do the... Magma. And this has a black nib, doesn't it? Yes. Right there. Make sure I'm not colorblind there. So, there you have it. Look at the nibs. All the grips are the same. The grips are made of resin. Beautiful nibs. These two are palladium nibs. 23 okay, palladium nibs. And this is the 18K uh, golden nib they have here. Beautiful nibs. I like how that cap lock system even kind of looks like a scroll work pattern. It does. Really nice. Uh, I love this red on this matte black finish on this one. Uh, so, you know, I've I've had comments, well, why did you get another uh, Visconti of the same kind? Well, they're not the same kind, really. What sets these two apart is the trim work. Everything else stays the same. And the magma has sparkles in it, I believe. Well, that is just, I think, no, that's just a, I think it just gathers dust or something in, into the matte finish it has in it. Uh, I haven't touched it or cleaned it up because I'm trying to see how it's going to look in a few more years. Uh, I can probably get a wet or a damp cloth and wipe that down. Or is it the texture of the surface that's causing that look? Probably. Uh, now, let's go to this one. On the Bronze Age, you kind of don't see it as pronounced as you do on the the one with the red trim, right? But you still see it in there a little bit. I just think this is how the pen will show, start showing age maybe. Don't hold me to that. But, uh, uh, and you know what I could do is uh, I could give it a little clean right now to doing the video. I have some pen cleaner here from Anderson Pens. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that. And why not, right? Because we can't. Isn't that right, Mr. Announcer? Yes. And let's see, right here. Let's just do it right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On the uh, trim work, like on the Bronze Age, I'm going to let that patina. I have, believe it or not, I haven't used this pen much. Why? 
Well, when you do reviews, you have to do so many pins, and then you tend to forget that you have that pin. So what I've been doing now is that I am really keeping in touch with my pins and rotating them. Well, you have over 250 pins, so it's not like you can use them all every day. Over 400. 400 now, okay. And that's not a lot. I know one guy said he had over a couple of thousand. He was telling me, wow, that's some heavy dude. He's a reviewer, and he's been reviewing longer than I have, and he has some really beautiful, very nice high-end pins. You can see how that Q-tip is getting all dirty and black. It was this color. Now see that? Been getting cleaned up. I can put this in the little cleaner and get it all cleaned up and it will probably come out real nice. Get that good enough there. I really can't tell a whole lot of difference yet. But I will really give it a good cleaning. I'll put it through the uh, pin machine thing and do a little washing machine on it and get it all cleaned up. I'm just kidding, not a washing machine. Don't take me literally on that. <laughs> Some people say, you're going to put that in a washing machine? Oh my mm -hmm. God, you've lost your mind. No, just a joke. But anyway... Uh, has it cleaned it up any? Nah, maybe a little. Not a whole lot. Get it on there good. But, uh, let me close this up. There you have it. The Visconti Bronze, the Visconti Magma, and this is the Visconti Blue Lagoon. Yes. Beautiful, gorgeous fountain pens. Uh, now, on the Blue Lagoon, I thought I saw where you might can be able to get the Dream Touch. Don't hold me to it. But if, like I said, if you're interested in the Dream Touch nib, is check with the seller, see if they had that option, so you can get the Dream Touch nib. But let me tell you this: if you go with the 18K gold nib, you're not going to be sorry. You're going to totally be in love. The nib is going to deliver. Wet, smooth. Beautiful nib, bit of bounce to it. It just, it's a Visconti nib. It's just a lovely nib. And uh, you will say, you know, Larry was right. This is a lovely nib. So what I want to do now, I want to do some writing with the pens. Before I do that, let me ink up. All these other pens are inked up. Well, this is about almost empty. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and ink it up. And I'm going to use the Visconti Red. And here we go. And I'll get that piston filler out here for that vac ready. Unscrew it. And then we're going to pull it out here in a second. Boom, it's ready to go. And, of course, they have the that titanium rods inside for uh, your pin out to get that ink corrosion. That's really important. So all three of them have that. And to me, that's important. And before I do that, I'm going to hit it myself. Let me do one more thing. The nibs do twist out. It makes it easier to clean. Which is helpful. And just be careful when you Working with the nib, finger here on top of the nib and right below the bottom of the feed. 
and get that sucker right in there, okay? And she's good to go. Beautiful dip. Okay, now we're going to ink her up. And you see those bubbles coming up in the jar? Try to get that ink off. Close her up. Let me just get this little napkin and clean it off here. All right. Now let's do some writing with these pens. Dream Touch. I'll do both the Dream Touch first, then I'll do the 18K nib last. And I'm going to use the Endless Journal notebook here. We'll go ahead and start that up. Ah, right, here we go. And if you wanted to post it, this is what it looks like. To me, it, it looks fine. Some people say it looks awkward, uh, awkward or it looks too long. But I have small hands, and if it's fine in my hand, there's no problem. There never has been a problem with it. So here we go. This is the Visconti. Bronze. Um, and the ink I'm going to be using is the Robert Ulster Frankly Green ink. Now, this pen has the 23K Palladium. Okay, so, and it has a medium nib. There you go. Sweet nib, beautiful nib on this pen. This palladium nib is really sweet. Check for wetness. Bam, there you go. Beautiful nib. I love it. Really nice. And we'll come back to this in a minute again. And we'll do the other one. I just inked up with Visconti red ink. Lovely pen. Super lovely nib. Really some nice ink flow. Wetness, of course, is going to be wet. Bam. I like that lock on the cap. Now let's get the Blue Lagoon out. Medium nib, okay. And this is the ink is the Visconti turquoise.
and we'll give it a few swirls and wetness of course is wet nice and wet here's the down stroke and a cross stroke this is the 18k versus the dream touch nib And here's the other drink touch nib. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So there you have it. If you can make the decision which nib you would like the best, if you have the palladium nib and if you have the new 18K nib for Visconti, what's your thoughts on it? Do you, which one do you prefer over the other? Or are you like me? You're just kind of locked because you love both of them. They're both really great nibs. Again, that Dream Touch nib is just dynamite. I can't say enough of it. For me, they've been great. Now the new nib, the 18K, has come along. And uh, I'm glad I got this one. What a fountain pen. Really. If you are truly a Visconti collector, enthusiast, or thinking about getting your first high-end pen, Give this some thought. Now this is higher end. Now you're you're talking higher end. It's going to hit you like nine bills, something like that. But you're going to get your money's worth. Now you can get these pins with the gold 18k gold nibs. Now I I, I saw that uh, the other day. I was checking these out. So they have come with that. So there you have it, my friends. What's your thoughts on these beautiful Visconti Homo Sapien fountain pens? Um, they're the kind of fountain pens you don't want to put down. You just want to keep writing. You, if you don't have nothing to write about, you can just doodle something. You can draw. If you don't know how to draw and you're like me, hello, stick people. Just be creative. Use your mind. Let it go. Thank you today. That's going to wrap it up. And thanks for joining me on Peace and Love on Larry's Fountain Pins Review. I've had a good time. I've been your host right here in Fort Worth, Texas. Keep safe, my friends. And as always, wash them hands. And please, for goodness sakes, don't text and drive. Bye-bye. <laughs>